I'm Daniel. And I'm Rua. And we are. <laughs> and we are. Copperhead Red Road Rose. Homestead. And we are. Copperhead Road Homestead. We're glad you came today. Uh, we are very new to this, but we want to welcome you to our channel. We want to welcome you to uh, our homestead. We're going to show you around. We're going to talk to you about different things that we're doing and different goals that we have. We want to take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit about who we are. Who are we? So we are uh, people who uh, are from this area. We live in Western Kentucky, but have we always lived in Western Kentucky? No, we used to live in California and we decided to move back to West Kentucky because uh, we had uh, family here. Right, we have uh, uh, my mom and dad owned this property it was uh, around 73 acres since then we bought uh, the 80 acre farm next to us so right now we're uh, around 150 160 acres we're gonna get rid of a little bit of that in order to pay off the 80 acres we were debt free but now we have uh, just a little bit of debt in order to do uh, this 80 acres because you don't have a whole lot of opportunities to buy the farm next to you and we wanted to do that uh, but um, it was pretty much raw land when we moved here and we decided to put uh, a a uh, single wide mobile home on here in order for us to move. We moved really fast. It was just a really quick thing, wasn't it? We had our household within three days. And three days of putting it on the market. market. And it, it really was just kind of almost a whim. We'd, I'd always dreamed of being here. I remember showing uh, Rua the property when we were first dating mm -hmm. and saying that I have a dream of living over here. Uh, and one day she said, what do you think about moving to that farm that uh, you've always talked about? And before she could change her mind, I said yes. <laughs> and here we are. So this is about uh, three, uh, three and a half years later, uh, just a little over three years later since we moved here. But we're still noobs. We're still trying to learn how to do what we're doing. Well, we're trying to remodel our house. One of the things that we're doing is remodeling the house. Uh, we could hire somebody to do some of those things, but I really wanted to learn how to be uh, self-sufficient and do some of those things. So I've done electrical, I've done plumbing, I've done uh, you know carpentry, I've done all sorts of different things which I've not been trained to do at all, but we're learning how to do those things. Been a part of the homestead with uh, my mother and father-in-law. And right. we have goats and chickens and we have pigs and cows. If you've watched any of our videos so far, you've heard a little bit about that, uh, but uh, we kind of do it together. And one of the reasons we do that together is because they wanted to do some of these things too. I wanted to live back here, but it was raw. So we had to put a well in, uh, we had a septic tank dug, we had an electric service put in. We like to be off the grid, um, not completely off because we still like internet. And I like to grow most of our own food. Yeah. Through and just really get the vegetables in and most of our own meat. Yeah, there's just so many projects we want to do. and. So we want to grow our own food. Uh, we have animals uh, that we're trying to uh, raise for food. We have four kids that we're trying to raise. Not for food. Not for food. <laughs> yeah, we have four children. Uh, our youngest is three and our oldest is eight. And this is uh, early 2020 in case this is on there later. But uh, we find it encouraging to watch other people's journeys. Um, okay. I do. I do too. Okay. Uh, we want to share that uh, with you. But we also want to share it with our children. You know, I was going to say, welcome to our journey. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Copperhead Road Homestead. That's really a mouthful, you know. I don't think that I was insane when I messed it up. Copper, Cooper Hood Roomstead. Hmm. Jeez, you're so bossy. <laughs> that better be cut out. We're planting a lot of trees, planting a lot of uh, perennials. We do some annual vegetables as well. Uh, we you know, have uh, pigs and goats and cows and chickens and guineas and uh, peafowl and ducks and geese. And we have coffee. <laughs> I like tea. Yeah. <laughs> we, we really want to raise our own food and teach our kids um, about where our food comes from and teach them about gardening and we want to enjoy the journey with our kids. Yeah, you know, I think something may happen one day. Is this boring? <laughs> I think it might be. Like you said, for preparedness, but also for um, just learning things and helping our kids and teaching our kids and uh, looking back and seeing. But we're glad you're on this journey with us. And if you want to help, uh, if you're interested in helping and seeing uh, more content, one of the ways you can do that is by subscribing, 
uh, to the channel by hitting that like button. That's the thumbs up button there. Uh, by hitting the notification bell. Feelings, we are really glad for you and we want to encourage you uh, because this has been really great for us, for our marriage, uh, for our uh, you know, for our, our family, uh, yeah. I believe it's for our kids too. You don't spend, you know, your last moments on your deathbed saying, I wish I'd worked more or I wish I'd spent more time away from my kids. Mm -hmm. Usually it's, I would have, I wish I would have spent more time with my kids. I wish I would have uh, worked less. I would have, you know, been around more. So we, we slow down a lot. We, we slow down a lot. We spent a lot of time on the homestead, but we were also very busy on the homestead and with our kids. And we really are glad you came. We hope you learned a little bit more about us. Uh, we would love, again, for you to subscribe, for you to hit that bell notification, hit the thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks.